I am on my way down to the lower food plot to go look at, well, Andy sent me this picture. I'll insert it right here. Last night we discussed while I was at my house that there is possibly a swarm moving into the swarm trap. I can see the beard hanging off that swarm trap right now. I mean, I could see it in the picture. I'm gonna have to do a hive inspection, likely today because um, I think I lost half my hive. If this is my, the queen that's been on the, if this, if this hive did swarm, this is a, she's a savage layer. She's doing really good. Nice queen, but let's, uh, let's get a closer look. You think there's a swarm in there? I think there's a swarm in there. It's hot, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> we're gonna have to move this now. Sweet. Looks like that's gonna be a tomorrow project or a Sunday project. You live and learn. Like I this beekeeping thing, it's hard. It is really hard. I keep making mistakes, which I suppose that's what learning's about, isn't it? The thing is, I think the hardest lesson that we're gonna have to learn is coming, going into winter and coming out in the spring. And I think that's gonna be the hardest hit that I'm gonna take. At this point, I have not killed a whole hive. So I mean, that's cool. I'm gonna find out if I made this hive swarm, this queen swarm again, twice in a year. Angie takes the cake, like. I can assure you that none of our hives swarmed and this 4A change is freebies. So I didn't mess it up this time. However, we are completely unprepared to take on this swarm. So we need to go get going. Found this wonderful gallon of matte Barbie pink paint on clearance for $20 because it was a mist tint. That's fine, I'll take it. Uh, we don't really care what the hives look like as long as they're bright colors and they're a little bit different. One thing we do like to do whenever possible is provide natural foundation to our hives. It helps them get a much bigger jump start on building out comb. There are plenty of beekeepers who do not deal with natural foundation at all. Um, overall, the comb isn't as stable in natural form. When there is a piece of foundation plastic, there's a lot more stability and it keeps the hives a little bit neater. But here at the Half-Ass Homestead, we're really not all that neat and tidy. Pouring and cooling the wax takes longer than anything else when you're making foundation and putting together frames. But it is pretty satisfying. We waited until the evening to pull the swarm trap. That meant most of the workers were home and we'll be able to move most of the hive to its new location. Give the swarm a good smoke and get started and see how many free bees we got. Shake off. Yikes! There's a lot of fucking bees in here. Oh my god, they've already got. You'll be. They'll shit when you see how much comb they have built already. Oh, that's a oh, good. Look at the bottom of the. Do you see the bottom of the box? That's why I said you're gonna shit when you see all the comb they got built in there. Oh. 
A fun fact that I learned is when bees are getting ready to swarm, they actually prime up their wax glands. So they're able to make more wax in a shorter period of time when they swarm. So that's why I was very surprised by the amount of wax that was already in there after just 24 hours. Six seams of bees in there. Whoa. Well, somebody donated us a lot of bees. At least they're docile. This is actually a pretty large swarm in comparison to the last one that we had caught. We ended up putting a second brood box on top of this hive, I think two days after we put it into the hive. Um, we did provide the dirty frames are all drawn comb for them. So they did have a very, very good head start. Overall, this hive is doing very, very well. We did do a mite treatment, um, seeing as there's no capped brood yet. So. Hopefully we have a nice healthy hive going into winter. We'll just keep on doing our hive maintenance. So not everything is always crap on the homestead. There are plenty, plenty of absolutely awesome times, just like this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Don't forget to like this video, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next one.